Cyclin dependent kinase and its inhibitors. Cyclin dependent kinase 2 or CDK2 has an N low and cyan and C low and blue and a magnesium ATP at the cleft between the two lobes. CDK2 inhibitor, CKSHS1 has four stranded beta sheet in yellow and two short alpha helices in purple. Its structure is similar to the kinase and low in yellow. CKSHS1 may inhibit the threonine 160 phosphorylation by CDK activation kinase. CDK2 inhibitor, P27K1 has an extended structure with a rigid coil, an alpha helix in purple, a beta hairpin and a beta strand in yellow, and a 310 helix. P27K1 interacts with both CDK2 in blue and cyclin A in green. The rigid coil of P27K1 and magenta binds to a groove on the cyclin box in green. The beta hairpin of P27K1 packs against the N-low beta sheet in a beta sandwich arrangement. The beta strand of P27K1 in magenta displaces a beta strand from the N low beta sheet in cyan. The 310 helix with phenylalanine and tyrosine in magenta is buried inside the catalytic cleft between the N low and cyan and C low and blue, mimicking the ATP. The structure of the activation loop in red, when p 27 k one is bound, is same as that of the active CDK2 in pink. ACDK6 inhibitor P19INK4D in green binds next to the ATP binding site of the catalytic cleft. P19INK4D has five L-shaped anchorin repeats and binds to CDK6 and low with its concave surface. P19INK4D binding twists the N low and cyan and C low and blue and distorts the green cyclin binding site. As a result, the activation loop in red is replaced from the active site. 